Now just one last little thing that I would like to point out is in terms of debugging for loops and if statements. Now you can debug for loops and if statements using the debugging tools uh, as we've talked about a few weeks ago. Uh, so let me go back to MATLAB. So this here is our if statement. Now if we wanted to pause execution anywhere in the statement, you can click on uh, one of these horizontal lines next to the line number and this creates a red breakpoint. So um, let me just create this breakpoint here on line 3 and what this means is that the code will run line 1 but then will stop before executing line 3. So if I click run now, you see that that's exactly what's happened. It's run the first line because it's created variable x equals 3 here but it is now paused on x equals 10. And notice that where the green arrow is, it's sitting, the cursor is sitting right before that line. And now a really useful uh, way to debug your if statements and for loops is just to step through it using the step function. So if I click step, you can see that what MATLAB did was basically look at this statement. So it evaluated this and it saw that x was not equal to 3. So it skipped this line and moved on to the next else if statement to test. So if I click step again, MATLAB tests this statement, finds that it's false, so it moves on to the next condition, next condition, and then finally it sees the else statement, and since everything else was false in this uh, if statement, then MATLAB will now display this uh, line 16. And then finally it reaches the end and exits out the if statement. So let's try that one more time. And this time I'm just going to set x equals to 5. So let me run this code now. All right, so x equals to 5. So let's run that first if statement. So this condition is false, so we skip this line. Now looking at this, we know that this statement is going to be true. So let me click on step. You'll see that now line 9 will get executed. MATLAB prints out x equals 5. And then notice that MATLAB here does not check the rest of the conditions. It goes directly to the end and exits that if statement. Now we can do the same thing with a for loop. So let's say I have a very simple for loop here. Um, I'm going to put a breakpoint just at the start of this for loop. I'm going to click run. So right now we're sitting right at the start of this for loop and we haven't executed things yet. So I'm going to click on step. Notice that when I do so, MATLAB creates this IDX, so the index variable, and populates it with the first element of the matrix that has a value of one. Now we're going to execute this line. So if I click step again, MATLAB executes the display statement and prints out one. Now notice that we are now hovering at the end, but you'll notice that it will not terminate out of this for loop just yet. So if I click on step again, you'll see that that green arrow returns back to the uh, line 4. And notice as well that the index value has changed and is now a value of 2. So it's the second element now of this matrix. And we can run this and you'll see that MATLAB will repeat this sequence of steps until we reach the last element of this index matrix. And then uh, the next time we click end, you'll see that it has a downward green arrow and that means that we are now exiting the for loop. End. All right, so I hope you find uh, this little video useful in helping you debug your for loops and if statements.